What's more, Yakuza Zero? Hey, I'm here, of course, with Doc. Hey, how you doing? I was first this time. Yeah. And uh, Terrence. Hi, that's me. How are you? I'm Terrence. I'm fine. How are you doing? Not too bad. Um, so quick recap of what's going on. We oh wait, well never mind. We're meeting someone. Uh, anyway, look, we're trying to get back into the yakuza. Our the the yakuza guy we owe money to says, "Let's." I want you to kill a guy for me. This guy's supposed to be some jerk running a telephone club and exploiting girls. We met one of them to try to find him. She thinks he's actually really nice and not exploitative at all, but Goro Majima wants to kill a dude, so, you know. I mean, if Goro wants to kill a dude. Yeah, I'm not going to stand in his way. <laughs> see. Uh, have you seen him with that bat? Goddamn. <laughs> this is like one of those camera angles that makes me wonder if I did something wrong when I was setting up OBS. <laughs> oh, all right, no, it, okay, I guess that's better. Don't get involved. Don't get involved. No! Oh my god, this is such a scam! Goro. <laughs> Sorry, do you never play this game before, but you've watched a lot of it, you said before? I've played some of... Uh, I've played more of Kiwami, mm -hmm. uh, but i played some of Zero, and uh, a, lot, a lot of Kiwami is people trying to uh, scam... Uh, carry you out of money I just see. like like this guy looks like an easy mark you know the one walking around in a white business suit <laughs> with a magenta shirt but yeah it's like, sometimes covered in blood <laughs> he seems like a guy i can get money off of so kiwami is in like i guess is it just a side story involving kiryu or no kiwami That's is the, uh... the first the remake of the first uh yakuza game mm -hmm. oh all right. Yeah, I Kiwami there was... 2 is coming out relatively soon as well. So I see. Got it. Yeah, I think Kiwami 2 comes out at the end of August. I think so, yeah. Some cards are bogus. Oh, we got the scam going. <laughs> and this guy's pulling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like this game a lot. I will say the cutscenes do tend to go on. It's very... Everyone's very talkative. Yes. <sighs> Although the animation is wonderful sometimes. I'm just surprised by like how well the character models look, like how realistic, but also it doesn't, it's not uh, like creepy. Yeah, that Uncanny Valley stuff. Yeah. They've managed to figure out a good balance between like, they are just realistic enough to not look that, unca that uncanny, because like mm. they, they reach past that point. But also like, they find a way to make it so that, like the, the body motion doesn't like make it weird too. Yeah, that's actually the problem with fucking *L.A. Noir*, right? The yeah. faces are incredible, but the actual like character animation for their like bodies uh, yeah. is garbage. Yeah. Well, and like the, they've been doing this like Sega, the Sega games, like even like *Binary Domain*, which came out I guess around the time *L.A. Noir* and stuff came out. Like it looks pretty good. Still. Same team as this one. Uh, yeah. And there's just something about Rockstar games where it. I've been playing GTA V. I got it on the Steam sale. And, like, some of those facial animations and, like, the character looks are... <laughs> not. <laughs> I, you know, I, 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 I like Binary Domain a lot, though. I will say it's that. Because it's, it, oh. it's a good game, and that's why. Yeah, I'm right. Oh no. Wait, I, I stumbled upon more shit happening today then. What is this? Oddly dressed man. Oh, is this like a cult thing? Thanks, insane intentions. It's a. Uh... Fanatics. It's yeah. a weird. It's a weird, weird necklace. It's kind of like halfway between Buddhist beads hmm. and like a rosary. It's very <laughs> weird. Oh, this is a uh, this is a very good side quest. Oh, is it? All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll do it. I don't know. I haven't encountered too many bad ones, honestly. Oh no, there's there's usually uh, that's the stuff that I really like about the Yakuza games is the side stuff. Like the overarching story is fine, whatever. But like just the entire being of Camarocho 
that's the name of the place, right? Yeah, yeah. Kamarato, yeah. Yeah. Although, actually, um, it is for Kiryu, but uh, Gor Majima is in, I think, Suten Sutensho or I'll... Oh, okay. it's um Sotenbori, that's I it. think. Thank you. Or Sotenbori. it's no, it's I think it's Dotenbori in the games because it's not the real place of Sotenbori uh, in the same way that Kamarato isn't Kabuki Show. Right, right, right. Uh, I want to share any danger. Parsing by. So yeah, every I got it. So I'm 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 really the most helpful person, Goro Majima here. So I really like that that they're like such brutal like kind of like mafia not mafioso but you know like gangsters and then yeah. still like you know yeah, I'll help this old lady out why not you know <laughs> I'm, I can't I can't not help an old lady. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Sotenbori in game, Dotenbori in real life. Okay, I got it mixed up. All right. <sighs> kind of expert guest are you? I'm. You know what? For once, I'm not an expert. You're not. You're <laughs> what? You're seeing this blind too, actually, right? Mostly blind, yeah. Gotcha. So, Terrence, you're actually the expert here. I'm. I'm semi expert. I'm an amateur expert at Yakuza. I, I, did, I know you, I didn't recruit you for that. I mean, I know you didn't realize that, so I'm just springing it on you now. Basically. Oh, it's fine. I can mm. I can uh, I can make up any old bullshit if you need me to. I do need you to. <laughs> um, so we got two side quests already. One of which we're going to complete is we found a guy who's like, my girlfriend wants a heart necklace. I can't get it. Can you forge me one? And this that other forger is going to help us out with that. And then this woman's lost her daughter to a cult, and then or or an order perhaps. So. Of amulets and statues. I think Haltus just showed up. Oh, yeah, and I need to help out Mr. Libido. I forgot about that. The guy. No. Yeah. That man. Mm -hmm. Mr. Libido? We ran into him last time. The game <laughs> identified him as Walking Erection, but then his name was Mr. Libido, and he's like, if you know any good places to look at, you know, look at girls, let me know. I think, like, was being... Mr. Libido mm -hmm. dancing naked man? That's yeah, the with the in, the in his underwear. Yes. Okay, okay. I'm glad he's an actual character then. Mm. I'm being asked in chat. Do you really have to help Mr. Libido? I am the most helpful man in Japan, or one of two anyway. So, would you mind joining the call? Mm. Well, all right. I mean, that seems reasonable too. It's, it's 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 sound logic. I I follow it. But... All right. So just tell you already. Yep. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Let's do it. And order. Oh wait. Order of Munan Shohept Onast. I'm not gonna remember that. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Munan Shohept Onas. I know, you know, I'm going to take a picture of that with my phone because I know for sure that's going to be like a multiple choice thing in one of these quests, you know. Munan Shohept Onas, actually. Hmm. That sounds like it's a, you know, the same way that they fuck up, they fuck uh, with the, the, the place names. City names, yeah. That sounds like it was one that was real, but they're making, you know, changing the name somewhat. Sky mm -hmm. Quest is lampooning a real cult. I knew it, yeah. I swear I could have heard about this before. Was this the one that ended up having the fucking, um... Is this the one that ended up, like, dealing with that, like, sarin gas bombing? Is that Back the same cult? Like, early 90s? Oh, man. Is that the same cult? I hope not. I don't know. I don't I, well, There's so many, like, icons, though, on my radar now, so... See, here's another quest we're in the middle of. Shit, yeah, this is based, like, this cult is just based off of that one that did that real fucking bombing. Oh. Huh. That was Om Shinkiro, says Space Queen Emily. Oh my god. Goro, we have, like, shit to do today. Throw me my ball. Yeah, 1995, so a little bit early, but hey. Well, okay, apparently the cult formed in 1984, though, so. 
Oh, they weren't. I was I was hoping they would have some kind of energetic, amazing throw. Oh, funny that we bring that up. The Onshikira uh, Shinrikyo leader was executed today. Oh damn! I actually did hear that. Wow, what a what a timely stream. <laughs> that was twenty, like twenty years before that happened, huh? Oh wait, hold on. I gotta talk to this guy because he taught he taught me martial arts. Doc, we learned break dancing last time too. Is our third form of martial arts. Like, dope. It looks like capoeira, but it's break dancing. Yeah, dope. Uh, I, not that I know anything about capoeira. I think I played Tekken once, and that was kind of. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Yeah, there we go, Goro. Challenges that you must pass. Alright, Warrior Arts. Let's just do one of these. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Alright, I have to get more. I have to eat more money. Alright. Let me get a side quest from you. No. Uh, throw the ball. You wanted to throw the ball here. I wouldn't let him throw the ball. Cause... Getting my ball. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Goro. Like, connect the dots here. <laughs> And this guy's not going to say anything, it's just like... Uh -huh. <laughs> sure. So why didn't they recognize him, yeah? Because... Oh, okay. Did they have that? I guess in the 80s they could have done that. Why not? I mean, not that this is the most realistic game in the world anyway, but... Mm. Anyway. Do an old deal. No one in the world recognize me. Yeah. Now, is that true? Or mm. is this dude just a weirdo? Why not both? Why could just be both? Could he be lying? And to what end? It's, yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, that's no side quest I can help you with. Have a good one, buddy. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. First person to talk to. Majima. Okay. I'm sure we'll side quest later, sir. When you have something, you're the to first do. person I spoke to truthfully about this since I got it altered. It's been six months, and you're just some asshole who just like gave my son a ball. <laughs> Not only that, but I'm trying to get back in with the yakuza, so he couldn't have picked a worse person to tell. Yeah. All right. Here's the cult members. Me. Uh, I, I knew it. Ah, I knew you were it. right. Yeah, but that's easy because Munan was the first word, so. No. Oh. <laughs> you should become yeah. chosen. <laughs> Munan Chu Hut is where it's at. That's Hell? good. I like Hell that a lot. I do too. <laughs> oh dear. Don't give him your real. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh no, it's gratitude and appreciation. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so there's professional activities. Observe with purpose. Oh boy. Test at the end. Here we go. So, we're gonna have to memorize everything. Uh oh. 
Oh. It's an awfully unadorned hallway, too. <laughs> well, they're all wearing the same exact white clothes. I'm sure that's intentional. Yeah. Mm. Very much Debaser. a cult thing. Debaser? How do you pronounce that? Chastening? Chast I guess. Chastening? Chastening is probably it. Let's hope so. Uh, poor soldier. Oh, this ain't good. Oh boy. All right, looks like you go left, you shake your hands, you go right. Got it, okay. I'm not sure what they're going to quiz me on later, so... Oh, here we go. Shoot at Pippi! Shoot at Pippi. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I love you, Majima. Shoot at Pippi. So it's in highest enlight higher enlightenment. Wait. Is that what they're saying? I believe yes. so. Yeah. yeah. to each other as friends. Oh boy, accumulate coolie paws. Okay, shoot a pee pee, get your coolie paws. My Munan Chopet. I hope, you know what's gonna suck is like, I'm gonna remember all this for this quiz and then I'll never forget it like the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. I'll be in like some meeting at work and they're like, where'd you think, what'd you do yesterday? And I won't remember at all, but I'll be like, I know about, shoot, like, <laughs> shoot at PP. Hey. Oh, wait, there she is. Thank you, Stylog Box. Oh, wait. Okay, so you're going to have to fight every last one of these people, right? You're going to have to be... Yeah, I hope. <laughs> Same. No. Oh, holy shit. What's that? He's got steel-tipped boots. Oh, yeah, nice. he does. He's also got a baseball bat he can just pull out for one of his... <laughs> well, yeah, no, I get that. Right, that just yeah. comes out of nowhere. But, like, <laughs> the fact that those are, like, blatantly steel-tipped, you know? Huh... Any, uh, any, any, any votes to what we should do here? Uh. Unless you know what to do already, in which case don't tell me. I don't remember. I'm trying to, I, I, like, I, I, rem I think I remember the quiz, but I don't remember this part. All right. I'm thinking, uh, well. Cracking the dumb pun might yeah, actually be might funny, though. Pun, also, yeah. I think you could just choose all of them anyway. That's fair. I'll give her a Sotenbori side splitter. Oh, man. <laughs> uh... Respond to their name. Yuri-chan. There we go. Well, I mean, he did just say it. We... Yeah. We did hear that. She didn't see that, though. She was... She was doing Shura PP. My mom. Oh, yeah, they come. Yep. Aw. Brainwashing. We did it. We're going to get her out of the cult. This is the easiest quest. <laughs> uh oh, wait. <laughs> memories. Oh, man. I don't like this guy. Here we go. What's what's this all about? I'm wondering what he's gonna do. Gurus. Munan Suki. 
Suzuki. Alright. Where's this weirdo gonna be? <laughs> I'm really glad they voiced this. Non show. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Not just our work of reading. Hepton. Oh, uh. Say, oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. That's very good. <laughs> Two spirit points awarded. <laughs> There we go. And then... <laughs> so let's see, how much titherance have you contributed? Or titherance, maybe? I don't know. Ty I'm I think it's titherance. Titherance, okay. Yeah. Reen Cho. I guess Reen Cho is like some sort of currency denomination here. Titherance. Okay, that's. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh, shit. So, All right. That's... <laughs> Gold. <laughs> we're in the... We're in a crime family, but... All right, let's see here. Shura PP. Oh boy. Mmm. All right. It bestows enormous. Mmm. I do we see where this to, is going. When do we get to beat the guy up, though? That's when just... do we connect Bat <laughs> to Jaw? Yeah. When do we start seeing everything? I'm not. I'm not saying like... anything. <laughs> Don't say when do yeah. we start to see everything as a baseball through the air? I don't say anything because I, I want you to experience this. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> uh, sacred body and soul. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Interesting. Here we go. Our test. Have you been paying attention? Uh, let's see. I'm not helping you. You're not helping me? Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> let's fucking do it then. What do we say I'll to it? Oh, no. Come on. That's how you express gratitude. <laughs> Molte grazie. <laughs> I love this game. All right, piece of cake. Yep. What do we call the training we undergo to? Shoot a popo. Shoot a pee pee. Yes, damn right I have. I am the shoot a pee pee king. Non show is oh show wait. Greeting. Uh. Uh, circle. Of the oh my goodness, you have. <laughs> Oh, mm. <laughs> gotta do that hustle though. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Woo. I knew I couldn't resist it. Gotta do that hustle though. <laughs> yeah. 
Moving on to Suzuki. Come on, three out of four. Yay! <laughs> Whew! <laughs> Yes, that was that was that was well worth it. I'm very glad that I was worried that he would just say do the hustle and then I would just lose the points for nothing, but I also noticed there's an arrow by that window, which is a good sign. Not we say time. <laughs> I like how they make you wait for that too before you can advance the dialogue. Oh wait, what? Steel. <laughs> Is there like crafting in this game at some point? Uh well yeah, you have the um the shop, remember? The Oh, you're right, yeah. The weapon shop, right? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, mm, uh, mm. oh boy. I, I'm feeling that second one myself. Yeah, but... I think. <laughs> huh? No, no. There, God. All right, here we go. I'm gonna miss it. I thought the other thing was a sin beyond all sins. Yeah, here we go. Oh wait, is this the, this is the charm that she gave us? Perfect. This this all worked out really well. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, the music. Hmm? Alright, cool. I hope this is a boss fight. Yes. It is. Nice. Oh, go oh, shit. Oh boy, he's walking like an Egyptian over there. Here we go. Okay. Oh, he's got I'm a lot, a of, lot of. I'm seeing an extreme number of triangles over here. Yes. Yes! I love this game. <laughs> oh god, those window ones though are so tempting looking. Is that a copier? <gasps> That's a copier. Or a fax machine? <laughs> Shit. Oh crap. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. This giving you the business though. He is giving me the business. I will admit that. The, the boss fights or like fights like this, not necessarily a boss, or my least favorite thing about Yakuza, because they block an awful lot, and you can't really guard break. Yeah. Oh, okay. That is, yeah, I've honestly, I have had trouble with the boss fights in this game, I will say that. Although, not the chapter two boss, like the the guy with the Tanfa, who I'm mm -hmm. forgetting because it was like a week ago, and I'll remember everything about this cult, but not the names of the characters it's... that I should. <laughs> Uh, I know who you're talking about. He's the guy. He, he's like the real tall guy with like the red suit on. Yeah, in, I the, say, uh, in the office. I want to say Oeda, but I don't think that's quite right. Oh dear. Yeah, I got pretty far. I got pretty far into Kawami, and it's uh, like the boss fights are just getting tedious instead of being fun. Yeah, I hear you. So. Oh dear. 
Oh shit. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just comboing off screen, hoping to hit him at some. Point. There we go. Have you got any stamina's or stuff? Oh, I do actually. Yeah, that's just, that's just a, just in case. Not that you have to use them. Wait, hold on a second. I also have a fit. Still... Oops. Ooh. <laughs> okay, you can't use that. Uh, health and heat significantly. Let's just do that. Have you, uh, have you been to talk to, um, uh, Bob Tsuganomaya? I think that's his name. I don't think so. The oh, giant wow. clown man? I've seen him, but I haven't talked to him. Yeah, you should go talk to him. He'll, he'll have some stuff that'll help you out. Oh, cool. All right, I'll have to do that. Using, the, I think, that one, I think I know where he is. Yeah, I think he's, like, he's, uh, like, at the edge of the map, I think. One of those streets. Hmm. Healing, ritual of healing. <laughs> Yay, we broke we broke our his spell with violence. <laughs> we did it. Solving problems by punching them. Yes. I learned something today. Same. Aw. Bring Dad back. Aw. <laughs> Damn. See, even terrible people can teach the world a group. Actually, no, Goro Majim is a great person. What am I talking about? <laughs> spiritual experience under two. What did I get? Steel? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I kind of I don't think they have him in this game or maybe not till new game plus but I could also like like an alternate outfit like that would be nice too so I feel like I got like the produce I got um Kiryu dressed up as a producer yeah in his run so oh got some CP too uh all right so let me see here so I think is uh is it here like the old shogi prayer or no that's the shogi guy to um, I think he's down towards the water, or maybe I, be, I might be thinking of uh, Kawami. Maybe. Uh, let's see. This is the guy who wants to practice. Well, wait on no, a second. Uh, ha! Okay. Huh, enjoy erotic videos there. All right, I will. Um, while we're on their way, if you, uh, anybody wants to, if you guys want to plug anything, by the way, please feel free. Uh, I have a Twitch channel. Tell me about it while I beat while I beat up some biker dudes or something. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start streaming Titanfall 2 probably tomorrow, maybe Saturday, Sunday, Sunday soon. I just uh, I actually just finished my first game on stream last two weeks ago, last week. I've heard really uh, good things about Titanfall 2. It's one of the best games. I uh, know I love that. I love that game a whole lot, and uh, it's one of the only uh, first-person shooter campaigns I've played multiple times. It came out at an incredibly unfortunate time. It did. Is the main problem with it? Yeah. So that is the thing that kind of killed it. Unfortunately, it came out. I think like right between a new Call of Duty and a Battlefield. It was. Like, yeah. It was like. It. Like it like a couple weeks after Titanfall, it was like a week after Titanfall Battlefield One. Came out. I think it was one. But yeah, it's it's just like it's it does a lot with a uh, like it feels like the first mech game that isn't too uh like uh. 
either too fast or too slow. Right. Yeah. Like, cause like a lot of mech games are just they go for the extremes. Yeah. So you're either playing Dynasty Warriors Gundam or you're playing Mech Warrior. Walking around in a vertical tank, and it's just like, uh... Hmm. Let me, uh, I'm gonna take this opportunity to save the game so we don't lose approximately 35 minutes of progress. Alright, cool. But I'll, I'll watch some Titanfall 2, that's for sure. I love that game. Uh, I am, am also doing stuff. Oh. I've got my own channel. Y'all know about. where it is at this point, I wanna say. MDCT underscores between every letter. What's up, y'all? I do stuff every fucking day, almost. <laughs> and I started my fiesta recently, actually. And uh -huh. uh, I got handed the best team. Literally the best team, basically. Almost scientifically, mathematically, the strongest possible team setup. Terrence, do you know about Final Fantasy V for job fiesta? Did I get that right? <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's, uh, it's like a right. charity. Yeah. It's a charity event every year that goes on for like three whole months. Uh -huh. Final Fantasy V being given four specific jobs, then those are the only ones that you can use. Uh huh. Uh, Final Fantasy V is mechanically sound enough that no matter what, pretty much those four jobs you will make it so, mean that you can be, complete the game. Oh, okay. Typically, and, yeah. Sorry. And my team that I was handed is Blue Mage, Mystic Knight, Ninja, Chemist. Oh, nice. Oh, Chemist. You're Which, upset, yeah. Yeah, Chemist by itself can win a game. But in particular, the team I set up, like every single one of those is probably the strongest class in its setup. Yeah. Final Fantasy V kind of wants you to change jobs and do different, like teach, like, here's your fighter can use magic and here's a ninja that can, I don't know, whatever. But, like, the Fiesta locks you into four jobs, so you have to kind of MacGyver these solutions out of, like, bosses who are like, Hey, this boss is immune to magic, and you've got all magic users. Good luck. You know, things like that. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. That said... I don't think that ahead. you can do it. Oh, yeah. And it always works. I don't think I've ever played Five. I'm trying to think. Five's actually, like, story-wise, it's kind of... Like, it's, it's, it's very, like, silly, you know? Like, yeah. It's, it's almost like a Saturday morning cartoon show, which is odd because it's sandwiched between like four and six, which are pretty serious, you know? Right. But like, yeah, like the the villain like transforms into a splinter and hides into so in somebody's foot at one point, you know, that kind of thing, like where it's like, what the heck? He, but, he has yeah. a Dragon Ball Z fight with a turtle. Yeah, yes, he does. And that, and then it's, it's in like the Final Fantasy four like sprite kind of thing. So there's these two little like cell sprites, like kind of jumping around and stuff. Right. It's a very silly game, but out of all of the Final Fantasies, it's probably the most mechanically sad one. Like, it's yeah. the one that has a good difficulty curve, and all of its options are fun and strong. Like, it's actually really smart. It's a smart-ass game. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah, the main villain is named X-Death. Yeah. Which is the... It's, it's a good name. That is a... That is a Super Nintendo uh, RPG name. Yeah. Oh, I found a card, I think. Yay, Hibiki Otsuki, Type A. Yeah, and... I've also been doing other things, like I just finished Demon Souls because, hey, guess what? PS3 emulators exist and they work now. Oh, that's oh, great. Really? It works. It is surprisingly <laughs> stable. Yeah. It was not perfect, let me tell you. Also, it eats like 7 gigs of RAM. Oh, fun. Wow. That'll do it, though. Yep. I need to look in the... Uh... I would like to stream Dragon Force for the Sega Saturn. Ooh. I because <laughs> Because I one I haven't played that game in over twenty years. Two, I would just like to play it again. <laughs> I've actually never played it and I do have a Sega Saturn here with it in a in a binder. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's really good. I know I just like in my that was one of the first games that I played like because it came what what, what when did the Saturn come out 94 95 I think so a while ago <laughs> something like that but it was like one of the first games where like it wasn't just an RPG like it's a strategy RPG and like I had I had played a few RPGs before um but this was the first one I think it was the first one that I owned ever 
uh, and I'd like in my like I remember everything about that game. Like it's forever stuck in my head. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna break dance fight these guys because they wanna um they wanna become the break dancers of Soten Bore and they think this is the way to do it, so Damn. I don't know how to do heat moves in breakdance mode, or even, uh, I'm not even really sure if you can. Oh, look, you get money for this, though. This seems like almost like a bonus round of, like, hey, let's make some cash and shit, all right? You might, you might yeah. actually have to, like, upgrade to do heat moves. Oh. I did just eat, like, a bunch of, a bunch of, uh, money, but I gave, I pretty much put it all into, like, health upgrades, which looks like I kind of need during this fight, truthfully. This looks like it might be just survive the entire time, and you get more cash the more you hit them, kind of thing. Yeah. Looks like it, yeah. <laughs> it does look pretty. Breaker style looks dope. Yeah. Honestly, like, because yeah. he is totally just mixing in just normal dance moves too. So it's definitely not capoeira. It's just dancing. You know, once you get the spin kick going too, you're pretty much like you're kind of unstoppable. There we go. And, when the, and that's pretty much the strong attack. I should probably. Admit, okay. Oh my god, that's great. Hold on a second. Can we just take a moment? To, this the song fucking rules. <laughs> the music god, in uh, it's really good. Uh, the music in Yagaza is is pretty damn good. Yeah. This in particular. Wow. All right. Holy shit, that was great! <laughs> That's not me, I'm not patting myself on the back there, I just mean to the animators <laughs> and the whole people who designed this game. That was beautiful looking. Not that they're watching, but still, you know? Man. <laughs> Maybe Carl Maji like can just fucking walk on his shoulder blades. Damn. Also, did you just make three million fucking yen there? God damn right I did. <laughs> you got it, pal. Oh, we cut. Whatever, that's fine. That makes sense. You split it four ways. Yeah. 20%. <laughs> Show hurts like hell. All right, that's fair. I think they earned it. Uh, uh, All right, there we go. And twenty percent is only five percent off of what would be considered fair anyway. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's close enough. And I really hurt them, you know. Yeah. To be totally fair. Um, you were so, wearing steel tip boots, and you just kicked them multiple times in the face and ass. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's... I can't find the shrine with Bob, so... Wait. Hold on, let's see. All right. there, let's see if I'm I can find it. Finding tons of cards, and then there's just a guy with a sign who is behind an invisible wall of some sort, so forget him. We'll find the shrine in a minute, I think. Let's, uh... Yeah, it's in a park, isn't it? So, oh, wait, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta break dance with some dunes. No, you never not fight dunes. Always fight dunes. <laughs> I thought you stopped modding the LP subform a while ago. Very funny. You're a, you're a <laughs> goddamn riot. <laughs> I, I get nervous. Bob's building is the yellow building in the middle of the lower half of the map. It's a shade, Gandalf. Oh, that's where it is. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'll very briefly visit Bob, but then, then we're advancing the story, okay? Because I want to see what's going on with this dude we're we're assigned to kill. <laughs> you know. So uh, Garamajima may have or may have not ever killed a man, but he's going to. He is extremely going to kill a man. Yes, that's his plan anyway. 
Yeah, this is yeah, this is where you exchange CP and gotta go fast or to repairs discount. I don't have enough money for that. Okay, so let's. All right, I'll buy. Gotta go fast too. I believe he has he has stuff too. Bob Utsunomiya Zero, what do you have for me? Dragon of yeah, yeah. yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that you can get. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, everything looks good. I'm gonna go with the super rare crafting pack. Like you get all of it, like. Oh. <laughs> okay. Gentlemen. Holy shit! Premium adventure. Oh, Majima can change his clothes no matter what, then. Yeah, and premium adventure though. I don't know if that means like, you know, uh, new game plus or what. Where? Um, how am I holding all these items, though? Damn. That plate is studded with diamonds. You gotta, you gotta take it to a pawn shop. Yo, who, who eats off a plate what? studded in diamonds? Rich people. Uh, I'll say dumbass rich, rich people. Hold on a second. AKA people I want watching my stream. No, I'm kidding. Uh, all right. All his moves look wonderful. I am really into that dude's argyle vest, uh, pink jacket, and yellow pants combo. That's that a is, good look. That's certainly a look he is going for. Mm. That's always good, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I didn't... Um... I did not get everything because I was worried I would run out of inventory space, but I guess I shouldn't. I guess I shouldn't worry about that for now. I mean, maybe you should. I don't know. Is there an inventory space limit? It's just there uh, is. There is, yeah. A slime gun. But See, you like... can equip. You can equip some of the stuff he gives you. Oh wow. Oh shit. Uh, L Photon Blade prototype? Well, yeah. Or wait, no, wait, the... Well, the Steel Crowbar is better, but I'll, I'll hold on to that for now. Uh, gear. Card Watcher when a telephone card... Oh, that's nice. Uh, extra safety. Uh, belly Warmer. Recover health while standing still. But it also adds to your defense and everything. Oh, man. And what the hell? Card watcher. Yeah, that works. Oh, apparently there's a telephone card nearby, hence that ringing sound, I guess. Oh, okay. And I'm being told anything I can't carry gets put in the item box anyway, so. Perfect. Okay. No, my item! I could smash over their heads. Hold on. Oh, Damn. good angle. That was quite the angle. Ah, uh, Majima can't do uh, beast style, so he can't use bikes, huh? I guess not. Stop that. Ah, there we go. Yay. Yeah, Kerry used bicycles, unless he's in beast style, which he can use full on hogs. I've seen it happen. <laughs> All right, let me grab some more items here. I'll take a crafting support pack. Yes. Timber, iron, bloody cloth, human face stone, super spicy knife, antique gun, sacrifice stone. Beautiful. I like the super spicy knife. Did just give you a fucking revolver? Where did he <laughs> get that? It's a super he's spicy Bob, knife. don't worry about it. Park at Frozen Sardine, Toughness Emperor, Torrender Plus Plus, Diamond and Royale, Platinum Plate, Shoot and PP. I still remember it. Shoot a PP. Hi. Shoot and PP is a different thing. That's a different. Oh, thing. geez, please don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me go. Let's go advance the story and kill this guy. While we've got tons of tons of tons of money and plates. All, all my money is tied up in plates right now. <laughs> 
But, uh, oh wait, and no, I don't have enough money. Working though. off that plate economy. Mm-hmm. Invest in yourself, they said. Ready to bust in? Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, cutscene. All right, so this guy is supposed to be really smarmy and crappy, according to Sai Sakaya, the guy we owe money to, or Sakawa. But according to the girl we met, wait, did the guy give us a gun? Or no, he didn't. That's right. Sagawa is also like, hey, once you kill a guy, this is going to change everything about you. By the way, I want you to kill a guy. What? It's a hospital? It's not Side room? I, it's not what I expected. That is, in fact, a pretty awesome Tanto. Nice, nice Tonto. Or Wakizashi. I think it's actually Wakizashi. It doesn't have Tonto point. Could have fooled me. Short swords are also associated with the Yakuza in general. Because they're easy to conceal, you see. Mm. I was all ready to fight in a tuxedo, kill a guy in my tuxedo jacket. Wait, I was I, already ice a dude. Wasn't I wearing like sunglasses and stuff in the previous cutscene, or maybe that's because I wanted to? Whoa. That dude's huge. Mm. God hands. <laughs> I'm bad at killing people. Kane! The Kane! Come on, Gora, work with me! <laughs> don't! Don't speak to yourself! <laughs> I want those shoes. Mm, those are good shoes. Oh my god, Majima, get with the fucking program! <laughs> back up, back up! <laughs> like oh I was God. shaking her violently. Just like, get Calm out down. There. <laughs> Calm down. そうなんか。いや、実はもう体がバラバラになりそうなくらい。<笑> Who I definitely didn't come to kill. Oh, 
Oh, Doc, I forgot to mention we have a two-day deadline to kill this guy before... Um, I see. Before they're like, well, maybe you're going to be the one who gets killed instead. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. He ain't a thief. No, that's true. No! God. What? Why would you even phrase it like that? Majima. Dude looks like an iron chef, though. ことを辛かったんじゃないですか。あ、ああ。こんなに体を酷使されてるなんて。失礼ですが、お仕事は何をされてるんですか。仕事俺は。うん。シュアリトレーダー。I ああ、どうりで。だからこんな足がパンパンにむくんでるんですね。ね、な、なんでそう思うんや。だって証券会社の人って朝からパンまで取引してる間。Yes. Yes, all tensed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would think you'd be a little loose from beating the crap out of people, but... You almost just had to murder somebody. I know. Yeah. This really worked out for us. He was all... He was all... All his muscles... Mm -hmm. Contracted. Just... それで体がこんな風に凝ってるんだなって。施術をしながら頭の中で想像したりするんです。ほう。Ah, here we go. All right. I tried the roundabout way in this game before, but I feel like let's just go right there. ここの店長ってのはどのような人なんや店長ですか そうですね。なんか見た目は可愛らしいです。何よ、その見た目はっちゅうのは。まるで実はちゃうみたいやないか。だって、あんなに優しい人他にいませんよ。それはどうなると怖いかもしれませんけど。そのなんや、暴力を
see. Alright, well, that's all that's left. <laughs> <笑>でも、<笑> I kind of looked away. What are we talking about? Oh, hostess clubs and such? Oh, boy. That seems awkward. <laughs> ah, what? Majima, don't recruit her. I... He's only saying if she ever gets tired of massaging. <laughs> Alternatively, when he kills her boss. Right. So, well, just putting that in. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Like, he's actually looking out for her. Like, he's gonna be out of work soon, maybe. I can't say why, but... In a way. Mm-hmm. Who is this guy? Just what's up with this God Hands guy? What is the deal? I mean, it's pretty clear Sagawa is not telling us everything. And the other thing, it's kind of a shitty massage. You just press on the same place over and over again. And you're not going to, like, hide that sword a little better, my man? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Tell me he fell asleep with the goddamn... Worst. ああ。そうかもしれんな。じゃ、今度は仰向けになってもらえますか。ちょっと枕も準備しますね。うん。ね、たく。何してんねん、俺。Oh shit. What? Oh shit. Ah. Hmm. Tats. Here we go. Korea Ozama at Takara. Konokata, Tencho, Goshime de Rashatan, that's you. お仕事が大変みたいで体中カチカチで私が無理って施術させてもらったんですですよねああそうやはいそんな体痛めつける仕事っちゅうもああそうやああそうやああそうやああそうやああそうやああそうやああそうやああそうやああそうやああそうやああ
ちょ、お前、タバコ持ってこいや。え、私春やる時、わしがタバコで急に火つけるんは知っとるやろ。あ、早く持ってきて。でも私だと時間かかりますよ。大丈夫や。それまでゆっくりこのお客さんのツボを
I'm interested to hear that actually. I gotta listen to that afterwards. I'm imagining it has to be just the Joker, right? <laughs> I could see, I could see that. I, I've never heard it myself, but I've heard some of the uh, some of the voice acting from the original uh, English dubbing, and it is not very good. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. So they think he's this other guy, Wen Kuo Lee, and he's like, "No, I'm not gonna." Did he fuck over the Yakuza and the Triads or something? I think the triad are trying to push in on the Yakuza's territory. Mm. <laughs> what? おお、ええタイミングや。はあ。おかえり。マキムラマコトちゃん。わ。お客さん。おお、オッケー。さっさと連れてけや。逃げろ。マコト。店長。どうしたんです、店長。ま、マコト。ええから逃げろ。I'm really not scared of that guy in the sweater vest, I gotta say that, though. <laughs> not only is it a sweater vest, but he also has it, like, buttoned or zipped up all the way to make it... <laughs> Look at that. It's like a turtleneck without the sleeves. I bet, he, he wearing? I bet he got a turtleneck cut off the sleeves and thought that was really cool looking. <laughs> this, will, this is gonna come in the style. I don't know about this suit either with its <laughs> giant stripes and a black shirt with a tan tie. I don't think there's anything wrong with the stripes, per se, but... I, I think the shirt and the tie aren't helping, though. <laughs> I mean, I could do that half of it. Only, only break dancing can save us now. Alright then. The Yakuza. Mmm. <laughs> Damn. This seems effective. Yeah. <laughs> seems all right. <laughs> I, that was. I loved absolutely every second of that. That was just obscene. <laughs> They're running right by Mars. Let's do it. You got it, pal. Let's... There's even one other person. Breaker seems kind of nuts. Yeah. Honestly, Slugger is like the one I like the least so far. Which is a bit of a shame because pulling out a bat is a strong move. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a bad suit. I can't even tell what that pattern is. It's like yeah. leopard print, but all red. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. It's a paisley. This music's so good.
Damn, I love this string. <laughs> <laughs> the, it's uh... extremely not a good Paisley. Oh, is this like a little bit of an escort thing? There's like a bar around her, I noticed. Yeah, she can she can be um, hit by them, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, he break. has Kiryu's unlocked, you know, standard brawler, rush, and beast. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring him! <laughs> yeah, it is great. I'm ready. I'll take that. I love this game. I should finish it. Thank you, Left Stick. I'm not even worried. They're just three guys. Just come on out and beat them up. It's fine. <laughs> They're even junior Yakuza. Baby Yakuza. Serious. Oh shit. I'm gonna approach groups and blend in. All right. Assassin's Creed 2 all over again. Oh boy. All right. So. So basically. Oh shit! Wait, no. I'm getting. I gotta hide again. There's two groups, one coming from the north. Unless I wait for them to turn around. Go. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Go, 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 go. Doesn't it make sense to kind of go around them, maybe? Fact, maybe that's yeah, what I do. Yeah. I'll wait till they run around the other side, take the back alley out. Mm -hmm. Although I am, I, I looks like I'm ultimately heading east according to the radar. But there's another hiding spot I can use there. So I'm not great yeah, at but... stealth. I'm just gonna throw that out really quick. funny when your very first thing you did was a guy from Metal Gear 2. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I never said I, uh, I never said I played that game well. <laughs> that was a strategy, guys, so whatever. Alright. Let's go. Oh, no, they're not gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, lady. Let's go. This might have been good, because I don't see any more. Go, oh, wait. No, no, there's some guys on the radar there. Huh? What? Ah, uh, looks like you might end up having to do a fight. I was expecting that. I'm glad it. Or, you can just fucking choke this dude out. Oh, okay. what the fuck? Uh... Go to Majima! <laughs> <laughs> has definitely killed a man. Uh, I don't know. That might be the Vulcan something or other. Yeah, the Vulcan no, neck snap. Yeah, you know. It's like a normal neck snap, but it's faster. Yeah. Just puts them to sleep. That's fine. That's fine. fine. Yeah, everything's good. It's all good. So I can. Oh shit, there's another group down there though. Right. Well, don't forget that, uh, that breakdancing can save the day. So. That's fair. Don't turn north, don't turn north, don't turn north. Go, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on! You got it, you got it, you got it. 
Shit. I didn't realize. Shit. Uh, where can I hide? Fuck. Go, 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 go. There. Okay. Oh, wow. I am fucking surrounded. Uh, huh. None of this is good. All right. That group's going away. Group behind me is going away. I think you might be able to sneak through. If you go down, right and down, you just, like, thread a fucking needle. I can thread a needle. Oh, yeah, no, okay. It's fine, because... Yeah, yeah, they, they have a really long patrol, it looks like. I'm gonna have to get to the middle. Or... What does that group do? They just turn around. I can't get through them. Yeah, they, they're a roadblock, looks yeah. like. I'm gonna have to, yeah... Uh... Unless we get through the park on the east, that might be the way to go. Not yet. Shit, this group's facing me now, though. Maybe that's okay. Wow, that... Perfectly timed. Yeah, as if I'd planned Master it. of Oops. stealth. So he's kind of overcautious, but I'm gonna... yeah, I bet the speedrun strat for Yakuza Zero means you go through like some distances. You just beat the shit out of all these guys and don't even worry about it. Oh no! That dude. <laughs> he's having a tro problem over there. Go 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 go. <sighs> Mmm, mm, this is gonna be tight. Okay. Oh boy. Hey. You three are my problem here. Unless I, I can follow them around. Ah, shit. Um. <sighs> Ooh, come on, perfect time. Come on, come on, come on. You can probably... Oh, no. That, mm, maybe? Could I thread another needle? Are, oh. Oh, you're going... Yeah. You're going for the fast path. Yep. Hmm. Alright, just let me watch for... Is it the same cutscene? I don't know. It's similar. Hmm. Different, different prompts, though. There we go. And to die, but... <laughs> oh! This game is, does brutality really well. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that, but, you know, it does. <gasps> Shit, those guys. Uh... Go. Oh, it looks like... Pink one is your goal? Yeah, it's like Walks we're all right. clear. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh. Huh? Oh, it's a toss on a saki. I got a hinka. So, cut up a scar. I just tell my dear. Okay. I'm hoping that this was, uh, you know, like unavoidable. This looks correct. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry. No, you didn't hit her. Like it was, it was that guy. Oh. Yeah. Holy crap! <laughs> Ooh, oh, nice finishing blow. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you killed the other dude. Oh, I guess he did. Never mind. God damn. <laughs> Everybody just walks by like nothing. <laughs> Okay. This section's long. One of them kinda saw me, it seems like. Shit. 
shit. Maybe? This is a long section, you're right. Yeah, run on by, guys. No thing to see here. <gasps> Ooh! Boy. Ooh! Oh! Just barely, huh? Yeah, this is really, uh... Yeah, I hope it checkpoints at like every pink scene or whatever. Terrence, I'm sorry, I didn't expect to bring you onto a stealth section. Oh, it's fine. At least nice scenery, though. This would be good to break up with a fishing minigame, maybe, but. <laughs> Hold up. Hmm? Gotta cast my rod. <laughs> No day feels complete <laughs> until I've just fished up a biggin. That's how they yeah, that's how they say it, just fished up a biggin. Uh oh. Yeah. Another scripted one, I think. Yeah, oh wait, I knew that. I was heading this way anyway. Not pictured how we handled that. But... Oops. Oh, well, except for these guys. Just so many suits happening. <laughs> oh, it's just <this> again. <laughs> One of those dudes has a cardigan pattern suit. Did you see that? That's beautiful. That's 80s. Like, look at that. That's the economic boom. What the hell? That is the grossest pattern to put on a suit I've ever thought of. Like, I can't even think of a worse one. <laughs> Alright. I really wanted to do some heat moves on these dudes, but you know what? I mean, there's... Oh, you die for that. Listen, o o Oishi. Oh, man, I am so mad. Come on, I gotta, I gotta kill his friends first. Or at least outdance his friends. Um, hold up, hold up. I've got a, I got a request. Yes, Switch over to grab, go over to the fucking river. Uh. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> yes! It's been a while. <laughs> yeah! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> you had half a health bar. The game's like, fuck it, you got it. That's what you want to do. I don't even care. <laughs> God, it's so ugly. Look at it. That is, is, it's a quilted suit. <laughs> this is a hand knit suit. It's way more expensive than a normal suit. And it's the ugliest thing. And it's also it's also like 500 degrees hotter inside that suit. 100% your wool. He is, he is sweating to death. That's why he lost. <laughs> I mean, I think the game takes place around December, so it's like yeah. the one time where it'd be okay, but jeez. We're already there, pal. We yeah, we fished up a big in. <laughs> I gotta remember that for the VOD title. <laughs> I 
there's that Sonic 06 loading font that I'm so used to. There we go. <laughs> I guess it has to be a proprietary Sega font, like they own it or something. Right. They were, they made it for Sonic 06, so it was just like, we're going to get some use out of this. <laughs> if there's one use that we're going to get out of Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, it's that one font. That is the <laughs> only economical success out of it. <laughs> I'm still mad that they put a Sonic 06 level in Song Generations. <laughs> the worst they, part about it hmm. is that it's actually one of the better late stages in Sonic Generations <laughs> as well. <laughs> Scared? I don't know what that word means. <laughs> you think you've had a rough night so far, lady? I was sent to kill you. Looking at this, I'm thinking about like all the Bioware games when somebody would cry mm. and their face would just mysteriously get wet instead of like actual tears happening. <laughs> Majima, really? Just how ruthless is Goro Majima? Oh man. I am going to ask that is you just stop hugging my leg, though. This would be very hard with you right here. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, that's chapter four. Wow. Uh, wow. Telephone company stock. That's not bad. Not a bad chapter. Should uh, should we go a little longer, or you guys want to call it? Go as long as you want, Doug. How you feeling, Terrence? Oh, so I probably got like 30 minutes left in me. I could do 30 minutes, yeah. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. That's, that's actually perfect. Perfect. So let's let's save let's save the game so we don't lose that. Thank you, Ice Cream Fax Machine. Good name. And I'm gonna bet because this is kind of a cliffhanger. Well, first I'm gonna bet he's not gonna kill her. You're Second, extremely going about to kill you right now. First, sorry. Yeah, There's oh, no way yeah. you're not. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Hardcore Kimberly. Kim. Oh, and they're giving us a nice recap. Yeah. Awesome. I'm going to grab a water while this is happening. Oh, wow. 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 Ah, it's been a while since I saw Kiryu. Yeah, I'm, I was always surprised by how long these chapters are. Yeah. Considering there's two characters. They're like... If you converted Yakuza to a TV series, which you totally could, you could probably compress those down easily to a half hour each. Yeah. You just, like, ran from point to point. Right. Like with enough with enough time for like some uh some like side stories. Yeah. Stuff like that. Takashi Miyake made a Yakuza movie? Was it good? It it wasn't I don't think it was that far after uh the first game came out. Really? Huh. I wanna say it was like a few years. It was kinda good. He is a pretty good director. He he's hit or miss, but he, his hits are pretty good. Ah, Kiryu Nishiki. Oh, like yeah. a dragon. That's oh. what it goes. 
Yeah, it was uh, real. I got the call. Yeah, it was uh, 2007, and the first game came out in 2005. Dang, that was that was early. Yeah. I mean, I know the games come out like every year and a half to two years, but that means it came out probably roughly the same time as the second game. Uh, second game was actually 2000. It was the what is this? Oh, it's a oh, it's the samurai themed one. It came out the same year as that one. Um, Kenzon was like the second game. Really? It was the third. It was the third game. Uh, Kenzon, it's called. Yeah, that's the samurai one. Oh, okay, these games come out actually very fast in Japan, is yeah. what I'm seeing here. Yeah, I'm looking at the Wikipedia page, and there's a, there's been two uh, samurai ones apparently. Yeah, I knew that the second one came out. It's just Kenzan's the only one I'm any kind of aware of. Yeah. Tachibana is doing a lot more for us than Yakuza ever did. I don't know. I mean, I know that, like, the next game's not called, like, Tachibana Kiwami or anything, but still, like, you know. I think... Hmm. I'm gonna not say the thing I was about to say. Like, things that'll happen in the future? I think. I don't remember, actually, so... It would just be me half remembering something, but even then, I don't want to, I don't want to do that to you. I hear we just get into real estate. It sounds easy. They've got that, uh, Fist of the North Star Yakuza game coming out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I want them to do that. Like, I, I kind of want Yakuza to be a template like, uh, Dynasty Warriors is. Yeah, same. Because <laughs> I, would, I would love a, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, that'd be cool. Actually, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not watching perfect. that. The, this is the perfect, perfect way to make a game for Part 4. Yeah. <laughs> like, completely 100% the perfect part 4 kind of gameplay. Yeah. Wow. I just wandering around the city, like, with how, how like, compact the city is, I was like, this would make a good Morio. <laughs> good Morio Cho. Morio Cho Radio. Mori Mori Morio Cho Radio. Yeah, instead of eating at um, other places, just eat at, eat at, go eat Italian. <laughs> it even has an explanation for why it heals you. It's so smart. <laughs> what a good, what a good idea. Yeah. What kind of moves on the streets would you find? Josuke is a little bit of a punk. He's the yeah, same was... kind of punk as Kiryu, where he is... Willing to get down dirty, but is also the perfect boy. He's really nice. Say, I was gonna say the the first episode is literally him uh getting into a fight. One, yeah. yeah, getting into a fight. And I was and it doesn't and it shows um uh, why can't I remember his name? Japara? Tiny one. Uh Koichi. Koichi, yes. Uh, it shows him like getting beaten up by some uh, by some ruffians. It's just yeah. like so. There's ruffians in that town, so why not? Yeah, it's just instead of just generically a bunch of punks around. It's like, yeah. oh yeah, no, Josuke goes and you know helps people out, and this involves beating up punks. Yeah, it's just a good way of doing it. It's a smart idea. Like it all works, and even then, like you could have, God, you could even have like a dope heat actions. Yeah, some, <laughs> some crazy diamond just like messes with stuff. Oh right. god, some sweet stand shit happening. God, that's such wow, wow, good ass idea. <laughs> I would kind of, I would kind of want not even just a like a 
a adaptation of four. I would want what happened after four, because like I feel like there's so much that could happen after four, like of just that town. There, Ooh. there is a little like there's the thus spake Ron Kishibe stuff, yeah. and also the book Dead Man's Questions. And then that, and then that one book where uh, where what's his name is a ghost. Yeah, that's Dead Man's Questions. Oh, is that? Yeah, it's Dead Man. Yeah, I can remember. Uh, but I just, like, I want to, like, after part, like, after part one through three, like, I wasn't, I was glad, like, to know what happened to the characters, but I want to know what happened with Josuke. Like, I really like Josuke, and yeah. I want to know what he's doing, and I think a Yakuza-style game would, uh, would do well with that. Yeah. At the same time, I, I, I'm picturing also, the final boss fight against Kira, and it would be extremely dope in this style game, too. Yes. yes like, maybe if it encapsulated both before and after. Right. I was just thinking about that, uh, that fight earlier today. Just the, uh, the punch that Crazy Diamond gets off after he, like, breaks through Kira's defenses. Yeah. I just love that fight so much. It's such a. Hey, so Slow Beef, uh, you said you might want to watch Joe's Revenge at some time. <laughs> you don't think you've never seen it beforehand. <laughs> We're just talking about it right now. It, it doesn't make it. <laughs> JoJo's Bizarre Adventure doesn't make sense if you haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, so I many people. <laughs> so many people have talked about JoJo before I watched it, and like I it's didn't remember anything. Be gauge what's going on when someone just describes it, but right. once you I'll do see that. or read it, no it makes a lot of internal sense. Right. With the hero. No, yeah, I know that there's stands. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, uh, I've been playing Kingdom Hearts on stream. Like, all the... I'm gonna playing through the games. I just finished the first one, and that's basically the same thing uh, <laughs> with JoJo and Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, where you try... Like, it makes perfect sense like if you know the thing but from the outside looking in you people are like i don't understand this i was like yeah you can, you have to you have to watch it or play it like it's not gonna make sense <laughs> it's not that simple but it's also simple when you know like what's happening in the case of kingdom hearts you need to know some outside information as well to get it completely but a little bit. The fucking mobile game. I hate it so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, I'm gonna throw this out here with this song in the game right now. I was looking around furiously. Is that like cat meowing at me? Because those synths are very much like synth cat noises. <laughs> Yeah, I saw you were playing Kingdom Hearts, because I, I was considering that as well, because I've never played a Kingdom Hearts game, but mm -hmm. then another friend of mine beat me to it, so it was just like, I'll, I'll wait a bit, maybe. When, maybe uh, the first Kingdom Hearts is good-ish. Mm. It's got a lot of parts that are rough mechanically and it makes you do a lot of fights unnecessarily. Yeah, and there's a lot of, uh, like, the level design in the first game is not very good. <laughs> what the fuck is this, Kiryu? Uh, it's... <laughs> oh, that shirt, man. That shirt is just... It's a double-breasted <laughs> white jacket with, you know, brighter pinstripes and a yellow, an orange shirt with <laughs> yellow chains on it. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> that sucks, Kiryu. I, that really sucks. Uh, let this be the end of chapter five so we can go back to Majima. <laughs> it's the 80s. This is what the 80s look like. Like, he gets a... I, I genuinely like his normal look later on with the yeah. gray suit and the... And the, what do you call... It's not magenta. It's too uh, dark it's like to be burgundy. Oh, burgundy. Yeah, yeah, and a burgundy shirt. It works better. Yeah. And on the other hand, what is Nishki wearing? Like, what is that shirt? <laughs> okay, Nishki is not any better. It's true. Like, I can't tell what the pattern on that shirt is. Snakeskin. Better. Oh, Jesus. That chain shirt is just... That no. chain shirt is super tasteless, you're right. Yeah. 
That chain shirt looks like it owns its own flea market. <laughs> uh, that chain shirt can call you on the phone. That's how loud it is. Oh, I gotta go back. Oh. Oh, yeah. Don't tell the Yakuza. Nice. Good, I, hate I like you. how <laughs> Yakuza is awful. Yeah. I like how all the uh, the Yakuza that are after Kiryu are just these old, old men. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. Alright, let's go back. And buy something else here. <laughs> I think I think that's no. what you're stuck with. Yeah, I know. You Dumbass chain shirt. Box. That's just what he's gonna wear. You might be able to change it from the item box. Oh, that's, well, let's find one of those Bob maybe. Because you uh, might be able to talk to Bob again. You might <laughs> be able to get some stuff from that. Uh, Bob, I think is. A lot of erotic videos I keep finding, but there's like Sega High Tech Land, Orchid, Shoji, fucking Shoji. What is this? Oh, yeah. And then more telephone. Oh, wait, there's a person here. I want to know what they have to say. I'm sorry. Um... Oh, yeah, Bacchus. Oh, yeah. Hey, boy! <laughs> hey, boy! <laughs> yes! Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it's the first time I'm actually hearing that. <laughs> I'm aware that's what he was saying before. Yeah. But it doesn't sound word. like anything. <laughs> like, it, that's not, that is extremely someone Japanese. Do, yeah. trying to do it, you know? Right. It sounds like the, uh, the uh, giant from Dark Souls when you throw the stones down. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Go to the item box here. <laughs> oh, hey. Alright, inventory weapons. Gear. Silent shoes. Yep. Well, I don't know if I want that. I think I want to fight people for now. All right. There we go. All right, then. So, excuse me. So, let's see. Kaichi Alley. And then what do we have to meet? Uh, Oda. Cafe. Oda, a.k.a. Was once a boss fight, but is now a friend. Very rare in video games for that to happen. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's never happened in a Japanese video game, ever. Never, never. Not even once. Ew. And speaking of snakeskin shirts, <laughs> is that just a popular pattern right now? Yeah. Okay, did you see that dude in the back with a fucking, like, vest over over a tank top, but the vest was, like, purple and the tank top was red? I'm not, I'm not even gonna acknowledge that. I don't... 80s Japan God, this had a fashion. hell of a look. This fashion is killing me. <laughs> like, he's wearing, like, good idea. Said it in the 80s. He's wearing like red leather shoes and he's not wearing anything else red and it's It's a look Does he have he at least a, a, a belt on that's the same color? I didn't see. I Maybe the handkerchief in his pocket? <laughs> God, you You need at least one other part to accessorize with a handkerchief though. <laughs> like that's not that is extremely not good enough. <laughs> Red pocket square everyone's mad about, apparently. Ugh. <laughs> no. The classes extremely don't help. Kiryu does not have a face sort of suited for those classes. Are those two tiny pearl necklaces on Oda? I believe it is. Mm. Oh, wow. 
Fucking 80s. I thought I thought we had a bad America. Shit. Okay. He is wearing a belt, but I can't tell behind the. I mean, it's not it's not enough because it's very like super covered up by his jacket, but still. Right. Gonna be honest, if he took off the jacket, it would actually look okay. Yeah. Just like he's picturing in my head. Too many, he's got too many patterns happening. Yeah. The jacket's the problem. Can you <laughs> keep the pocket square if you put it in like a. if it's got a shirt pocket? Yeah. Kiryu definitely looks like a narc with those glasses on. Like, I feel like if he walked in... <laughs> if he walked in, like, no, that guy... No. <laughs> I must good. inform you, I am, in fact, a cop. <laughs> <laughs> He's not You a didn't cop. have to do that. No, I did, though. <laughs> That's not how he isn't actually a cop. Yeah. <laughs> Like in the case of Kiryu, there's no saving it because even if he took off the jacket, those pants being striped means they need to have something else also striped, right. and the jacket is acquired for that. It is an assembled outfit that looks like shit. <laughs> like if if the shirt was just like the that orangish gold color, like it under the be chains. That bad. Yeah, it, yeah, it would be better. It wouldn't look very good, but you wouldn't be like, "What? Why are you doing this?" Yeah. I don't give me more. Oh, business card. Kiryu君の名刺だ。これであんたも立派な立場の不動産の社員だな。いいか。今日はお前のサラリーマンとしての適性を測る。あんまり舐めたまねするようならきちんと社長に報告するんだ。Yes, sir. So the subtle off-white coloring of his suit. That <laughs> even has a watermark. Here. Even thinking more about it, the fact that it's a double-breasted suit <laughs> makes it even worse. <laughs> it's double-breasted and super long. Like, yeah. I don't want the table up in front though. Like that doesn't make sense to me. Like, let's go. Yeah, like looking at it from this far away, it doesn't look bad because it can't make out the pattern. But yeah. table at the back. What the fuck is that? That's like Pac-Man. It's like a Pac-Man table or whatever. Hey, I was just looking at it. <laughs> oh, no, I kicked the shit out of you in, say, in chapter two, okay? Let's just watch them now. Okay. <laughs> You got a problem with this too, Oda, obviously. さすがに下里神桜居を知ってるよ。偉そうに奥に座りやがったらどうしようかと思ってるだけだ。I mean, it's a little different. に気をつけてねえとぶん殴られるだけじゃ済まないからな。経験が生きたってところか。その調子で気抜かずやってくれよ。わかった。いらっしゃいませ。持ち物はお決まりでしょうか。ああ、そうだ。うん。コーヒーを。I knew that, that was my second guess. Oh, I thought 
Maybe, yeah. I can't wait till I get back to the Yakuza. It's so much easier there. ですね、期待しちゃいなかったけどよ。せめて同じことは二度言わせんな。え、しかしめんどくせえな。何言ってんだ。ヤクザの方がよっぽど礼儀にうるせえぞ。上の人間ほどわきまえてるもんだ。お
問題のビルというのはどちらに天下一通りにある杉田ビルですわかりましたあとは我々にお任せくださいなキリュウ君 Yes sir、uh. <laughs> <laughs> So Oh man he got really annoyed with all the rules real fast Yeah Sounds like Kiryu. I just want to do crime. あなしは分かったな。要するに戦友やビルから立ち抜かせろってことだ。ま、交渉は俺がやるよ。仕事の手本も見せてやるからな。戦友やのバックには役座がついてんだろ。交渉だけで済むのか。そこは俺の腕の